Greetings all you chainsaw and axe addicts out there. Indiana Doug here. Today on the channel, we're going to talk about the House Handle Company. If that sounds like something you'd be interested in, well, pull you up a seat and uh, grab your favorite beverage and, uh, and put your listening ears on. If you're new here, um, my name is Doug, and I uh, I uh, play with axes and chainsaws, and uh, I produce a lot of sarcasm on the channel. So, if you like that kind of thing, uh, stick around. You'll you'll hear quite a bit of it, I'm sure. So, as many of you know, my favorite axe handles are being taken off the market. Ah, such a sad day. That's, that's the, uh, the word on the street anyway, right? Um, Killinger axe handles are being taken off the market or have been taken off the market. But the rumor has it, uh, it's just not viable. You know, I understand that. It's not viable for him to do it anymore. Everyone's replicated his handles and his his concept, his uh, what he's worked so hard to achieve, and pretty much copied his business model. And it's not viable for him now. So, you know, the competition's just too much now, and they'll you know underprice things and you you know yada yada yada. Right? I get it. You know, uh, Killinger's human just like everyone else you know and uh very innovative guy there's i can't say enough about the man i really can't just he inspires me um in a lot of things the way he took that on the chin is honorable let's let's just put it that way that's all i want to say about that enough of the negativity let's get on with the program so if you have a killinger axe handle you know that their premium or boutique axe handles. I can confidently say that because I own almost every style and there's nothing out there that is good as that handle. I, I, I can tell you right now from my personal experience, I've tried a lot of handles out and the reason why his handles are so good is because he took the best handles ever made, which were the ones that came on like, you know, some of these old tried and true vintage heads, right? Uh, you know, these are obviously the, the best uh, heads in the world, right? Ever been made. We can't replicate this awesome vintage stuff. The day that they made these the steel they used, the processes they used, you just can't really do as good a job, I don't think. I don't personally think today. There are some good companies out there, though. Um, but we're not talking about the heads. We're talking about the handles. And the handles that went on those, Killinger actually replicated those handles. And and because you can't get those handles. And they're very high demand because it's the best handle you can possibly use. And that's why his company was so good. Um, so that being said, um, I'm on the hunt for new handles for, you know, when I get an ax head, I need a handle, right? Uh, we know the story. So, you know, it's got to be at least a decent quality handle. Hickory stick is nice. Maybe a nice ash or red elm, which I haven't seen much of at all other than Killinger's. But yeah, a good quality stick. Um, I tried the J&J uh, &J handles. They're lovely uh, for like a wedge banger. I, I hear they're gonna be producing some more. Looking forward to that. And when I get some, I'll definitely have them on the channel so y'all can see. Let's talk about this, this box I got here. It says cool stuff. It is from 
house handles. And they've been kind of a staple for a lot of us in the axe community. You know, you need a stick real quick. That should be their motto, I think. You need a stick real quick. <laughs> oh, gosh. I've never uh, ordered from house handles. So uh, this will be an experience for both of us. So give me a sec. I'll open this box and lay them out for you. Okay, so here we have it. Here's my invoice. We'll get to that in just a minute. Um, so here's the sticks that came in the box. I ordered four axe handles. And what I did was I ordered the uh, best quality handles that I could get by their options. Okay. Um, and I'll, I'll itemize all this. I'll go through this if you haven't ordered from these guys before. Um, so each of these costs a certain amount of money per handle, right? There's no minimum qual uh, quantity, which was really nice. Um, you have an option to get the style, of course, the length, and there are some add-ons that you can uh, request as well. There's like a drop down boxes for add-ons. One is what I am assuming is their premium or their best quality handle, which is called hand picked in the drop down menu if you go to their site. And I believe that they, they call that a double A handle or AA handle. That's their top notch handle. They, they go and they hand pick it out of their selection. That is a $2 add-on to any handle that I, that I looked at, okay? The other add-on is um, the octagon shape, which I have three of them here actually, because I don't have a lot of octagon shape handles, but the ones I do have, I absolutely love. It's If you don't have an octagon handle, I encourage you to at least try one. You'll love it. It fits your hand very well. Because, you know, when we close our hand, it's not a circle. It's like an octagon, and it fits super nice. So, um, But that's a $1.50 add-on. $1.50 add-on. U.S. dollars, by the way. Um, the one add-on I didn't get or didn't understand is the last add-on. It's a no lacquer option. So if I want these, you know, just plain, like I got them here, uh, it costs me more money. It costs me, it's only uh, 50 cents. But nonetheless, I don't understand that add-on because it would seem like it would cost money to put lacquer on. And they obviously don't take the lacquer off before they sell it to you. They just get a blank stick and put it in the box. So... Anybody knows about that one? Leave it down in the comments. I am, I, I, I just have no idea why why they why do, why they do that. Again, only fifty cents, but is it like a convenience thing, perhaps? I don't know. Um. So let's go let's go with the uh, pricing before we start looking at these handles. This handle right here. You see that? Yeah. This handle right here is a 30 inch double bit handle okay and all these come with the wedge also comes with the little metal wedge which i thought was very interesting that i like that nice touch um this stick here again 30 inch double bit it's got the octagon shape to it um it's hand picked so you'd have to add all that onto the cost, but this one cost $15.10. So 15, 16, 17, 18, 50. 18, 50, $19. So the, the option that I got with this, 15, 10 for the stick. As you see it, hand pick $2. Octagon shape, 150. No lacquer, 50 cents. Okay, so around 19 bucks I paid for that total. Okay, the next two sticks are the same, but they're a little bit different wood, and I did not request that. But that's fine with me. I, I, I actually lucked out, I think. I, I like that. There's a contrast there. But these two here are 28-inch straight single bit handles, okay? 
Okay, and again, I got all the add-ons plus the uh, octagon shape. This one costs just a little bit less. Each was uh, $14.95 each, okay, for these. 28-inch, single-bit, straight stick, okay? Then the last one here is a 30-inch, single-bit curved, okay? And it costs $15.10, the same as this. However, there, there obviously wasn't an option for the uh, octagon shape. So this is actually a little bit more expensive because if I got this in the standard, it would have been less. But again, around 15 bucks each for these if you want to kind of gauge it that way. Um, and then if you get hand-picked, it's $2. I don't know what a not hand-picked looks like. I, I don't know. Uh, again, maybe something some, someone can leave in the comments if they've ordered from uh, House Handles. Um, but uh, I don't know. So far, I'm super satisfied with these guys. Um, let's talk about shipping. First of all, the service. I had these in three days from Missouri all the way to Indiana. That's fabulous. Uh, I couldn't be happier. I thought these were going to come next week. Um, that cost $15.75. Nothing anyone can do about that. That is what it is. And I picked the lowest, like, you know, standard, not lowest, but the standard shipping on there. So, and that was $15.75 for, for what you see here. So, is it a good deal? I don't know. I have about $90. Well, actually... I have $90.35 and in all four of these. Can you see that? $90.35 in all four of these. And it's all itemized here. I'll kind of let you see that if you want to maybe pause it if you, you would like to see the details. But uh, two thirteen twenty three. I'm making this video today. Hopefully I can upload it which is the 16th, that's three days. So there's that. And let me actually, uh, let me actually put this part up here as well. If anybody were to maybe save you a, asking a question who they are, Okay, they have a website and it's very basic. Like it looks like it's HTML based. Like, I don't know if you know what that means, but um, it's very basic, but it's it's easy to navigate and it's very cut and dry, super easy, in and out, pay with pretty much anything. I think I paid with PayPal. So, um, so anyway, let's check these out. Um, here's the double bit and Get you up kind of close here. You know, there's the wedge. Hopefully you can see that. Okay. Um, it looks pretty decent. Nice and straight. Uh, they cut the, the wedge. They cut where the wedge goes already. That's okay. I'd prefer not, but that's okay. That's kind of that, you know, they didn't charge for that. So, so that, that says something. And here's the grain. I mean, you can't get much better than that. Hopefully that's getting picked up. But uh, let me get it kind of back too, just in case it's out of focus. I mean, you can see that grain. It goes whoop, straight up and down. Okay, so there's the double bit. Here's the uh, single um, octagon, uh, one of them. Again, the octagon looks to be the same. It, looks to, it actually looks really good. Um, I think they just run this on a machine, I'd say, and just octagon it out. It's fine. You know, I can detail it up more if I want. 
I, I like it, but uh, good quality stick, I think. Uh, nice pattern. Let's see the, uh, yeah, again, grain patterns north and south as you can get on that. I mean, that's fantastic. <laughs> Happy there. Here's the other one. I'll do it a little quicker. Same deal. Got a little bit of a chip here, looks like. But that'll be cut off anyway when I haft. So I'm not worried about that. Yeah, this is a darker, so it probably came from like the heartwood. Uh, I like it. I really like it. Uh, green pattern, again, north and south. So I think the hand-picked is going to get you this, okay? So I would consider doing the hand-picked option. It's only two extra dollars so far. I think that's what's gotten me the uh, uh, north and south nice, nice grain pattern, um, okay? And this last one, the uh, pretty hefty, not super thin, which is which is what I like because uh, I can make it thinner. You, again, you can take always take it off. You can't add to it. Um, got some heartwood here, but that's okay. That's okay. I, you know, that's that's nice. That's a nice stick. I like the contrasting. I wish there was more of that on there actually, but oh, there's a little bit here, but probably end up getting sanded off. But again, look at that. Look at that grain pattern, straight up and down. You kidding me? Loving this. It's a nice stick, man. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to... I'm a little long-winded on stuff. I get excited about things like this for some reason. And uh, <laughs> I just wanted to, you know, show everyone and tell everyone, you know, what I'm kind of going through with the uh, axioms. I'm just kind of trying uh, everything I can get my hands on so I can get another supplier for stuff. So um, if you are watching this and you know of uh, another supplier that's relatively cheap like this, please leave, leave it down in the comments. Let everyone know, myself included. And... Uh, I appreciate you on that if you do. See ya!